Welcome back to Bit Break. In this video, we are going to talk about some of the best classic detectives, going all the way back to the golden age of detective fiction to some more modern classic detectives from the 80s and 90s. I would love to know your favourites, so do leave them in the comments below because I can't get through everyone and bound to have missed some of your favourites. But let's dive into some of the best and most beloved classic literary detectives. Obviously, I have to kick off with Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes has got skills of deduction unlike anyone else. They sometimes even border on the fantastic, which is unsurprising considering author Arthur Conan Doyle's interest in all things paranormal. Sherlock Holmes features in 56 short stories, 4 novels, and over 250 on-screen adaptations. So he's got to be the most famous detective of all time. I've got a collection here of the best Sherlock stories, and you can see him on the cover there, smoking his signature pipe. So Sherlock is pretty prolific, but not far behind is Miss Marple, one of the most famous creations of Agatha Christie. Miss Marple is an amateur consulting detective. She is an elderly woman from a small village with an incredibly shrewd ability to notice the tiniest of details. As well as appearing in multiple short stories, Miss Marple can also be found in 12 of Agatha Christie's novels, including this one I've got here, 450 from Paddington. You may also recognise her prototype in the novel The Murder of Roger Ackroyd. That book features an elderly spinster named Caroline, but in the stage adaptation, Caroline's character was replaced with that of a young girl, and Agatha Christie was so upset she was determined to give old maids their voice back. Hence, Miss Marple was born. Equally famous from Agatha Christie is Hercule Poirot, though he wasn't quite as beloved by the author herself. Agatha Christie actually described Poirot as an egocentric creep. Still, he has appeared in 33 novels, two plays, and over 50 short stories, the most famous of all of those being Murder on the Orient Express. And Christie fans do watch this space because a really exciting novel is coming out next year called The Christie Affair. I have read an advanced copy and I absolutely loved it. It is a fictionalised version of what might have happened during the period of time when Agatha Christie went missing. It's absolutely fantastic. It feels like a real Christie-esque mystery. Watch this space. I will put a pre-order link below. I do really recommend that one. Kasuke Kandaichi is a newly discovered detective to most English speakers, but he has actually been famous in Japan since the 40s. Kandaichi is a young, shabby-looking character who surprises everyone with his genius for observation and logic, and the author, Seishi Yokomizo, is basically the Agatha Christie of Japan, and he has written 77 mysteries for Kandaichi to solve. I've got the first one here, the case of the Honjin murders, which is a locked room mystery. Then there's Precious Remote Sway from the number one ladies detective agency by Alexander McCall Smith. Remote Sway is the first female detective in Botswana. This series is a little different from the others I've mentioned so far in that yes, there is a mystery to solve in each novel, but the novels are equally about the adventures of the various characters. Precious Remote Sway herself is a great character with so much wisdom. She believes that the key to being a good detective is to know about people. Lord Peter Whimsey is a gentleman detective who solves crimes for his own amusement. He's described as having a vaguely foolish face, so people are often rather surprised when he does actually solve the case. He features in a series of novels and short stories. I've got 15 of the stories collected here, and you get to actually see him change and develop as the stories go on. He's not just a static character. So in the earlier stories, we meet him as this kind of dapper man about town. Later on, we see him get married to a mystery writer who has previously helped him out with some of his cases. And towards the later stories, we actually see him as a family man with children. So there's a really great character arc for him there. I've got two books here by Marjorie Allingham that feature the detective Albert Campion, who was allegedly first created as a parody of Lord Peter Whimsey. Again, he is very posh. There are hints that he may even be part of the royal family. He is seemingly very unintelligent, and he solves crimes for his own amusement, seeing himself as a sort of helpful Uncle Albert for those in need. So he may have started as a parody, but he did then go on to mature and develop his own identity and character. And the secret to Albert Campion's success is the number of friends and connections he has scattered throughout the country, including a fair number of professional criminals. His motto in life is take a drink with anyone and pick your pals where you find them. 
Of course I had to include Nancy Drew, a teenager with a knack for solving mysteries, some that she just stumbled across, some that started out as cases on her attorney father's desk. Unlike the other detectives that I've mentioned so far, Nancy Drew doesn't just have one author, she was actually created by a publisher to be a female counterpart to the Hardy Boys. So even though the Nancy Drew books are all published under the pseudonym Carolyn Keene, they are actually ghostwritten by a number of different authors, and as a result of that you can see her character change quite a lot throughout the series. In the early books that appeared in the 1930s she was actually a lot more violent and unruly than the older more professional version that gained popularity in the 80s but across all the versions she is still the same energetic, strong, bold, ambitious young woman that we know and love. If you've been watching the Netflix show Lupin, you will already be familiar with Arsène Lupin, gentleman thief who also moonlights as a detective. Lupin is a master of disguise. He steals from the rich, he outsmarts the police, and he is very generous to those in need. He's a French Robin Hood, and he even has a run-in with Sherlock Holmes himself. Easy Rawlins is a great character created by Walter Mosley. He is an unlicensed private detective with no background or training in law enforcement. In the book where we first meet him, we see him being let go from his factory job by a racist employer, and needing money to pay his mortgage, he agrees to get involved in the hunt for a missing woman. This of course then leads him on a trail through crime and corruption in 1940s LA, and sets him nicely on a new career path. So this is classic, hard-boiled detective fiction, but also that addresses issues of racial inequality and social injustice. So far, Easy Rawlins has only been portrayed once on screen by Denzel Washington, but there are always talks of new TV shows or movies, so keep an eye out. From the 70s comes Inspector Morse, an Oxford-based detective created by Colin Dexter. He is sullen, snobby, but extremely likeable. He loves crosswords, classical music, and real English ale. One of the longest running mysteries through the books is what is Inspector Morse's first name? It took 20 years and 12 books before it was revealed, so I'm obviously not going to tell you now. You'll have to read the series to find out. And then finally, there's Dirk Gently. Dirk Gently is a modern classic detective with a twist, the twist being that he is a time traveller. He's also a psychic, though he doesn't believe in that kind of thing, and anyway, it never helps him win any money on the races. Sherlock Holmes claims that whenever you have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth, but Dirk Gently disagrees. He doesn't think you should eliminate the impossible in the first place. Before you go, while we're talking about classic detectives, I did just want to mention again one of my favourite non-fiction books, The Adventures of Maud West, Lady Detective. This is the true story of a very mysterious, enigmatic female detective from London called Maud West. Maud West was a master of disguise, and this book is written like a mystery itself, trying to get to the bottom of who Maud West really was. I absolutely loved this, and I will link below to a video that I did with the author, where she got me to try out some of Maud West's best disguise tips. Do click through and watch that video, it was a lot of fun to film, and I would love to know your favourite classic detectives in the comments below. See you next time.